Well, this weekend is almost here and with a Mardi Gras season upon us, it can be a little bit tricky to nail down those weekend plans, but we are here to help. And so are our friends Cami and Mojo from 95 WABD. Welcome guys. Good to see you again. Are you ready to rock and roll and talk about what's happening this weekend? I'm ready. Let's do it. OK, well, let's start <laughs> at OWA, which is hosting an arts and crafts festival this Saturday from noon until six o'clock. Visitors will have the opportunity to enjoy the sights and sounds of coastal Alabama's arts and crafts and even participate in a few from local artists to live music to crafts goods. There will be something for the entire family. And you know what, guys, speaking of family, there's a speed art competition for the kids. The best part is the entire event is free. Sounds like a lot of fun. I like the speed art. Mm -hmm. That's my type of art. I love the free. That's my yeah. type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you love fishing, you don't want to miss the New Year's Retribution Fishing Rodeo. It's hosted by Tacky Jackson Gulf Shores. Competition gets started at 5 Saturday morning, and you have until weigh in at 2 on Sunday to reel in as many fish as you can. Now, if you're not a fisher, it's okay. <laughs> There's door prizes for, for folks who just want to hang out. Registration is $30. You, now, you could be crowned the angler of the year if you win. And there's some prize money on the line, too. $50 for third place and all the way up to $150 for first place. Nice. <laughs> all right, watch the weather on that one, though. <laughs> all right, well, you might have heard that some folks on the Gulf Coast call this rainy winter weather gumbo weather. Isn't that year round here? But apparently in Foley, <laughs> they are saying it is time for Gumbo Weekend. They're hosting the Gumbo and Alabama Slammer Festival this Saturday in Heritage Park. Starts at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. You can enjoy Gumbo, a classic Alabama Slammer cocktail, plus all kinds of drinks, vendor booths, and several activities for the children. Live music includes a tribute to Hank Jr. And I love the tip tops. That'll be great. Very cool. Uh, for lovers of books, the big winter book sale is the place to be. Starting on Friday, going all the way through Sunday, the West Florida Public Library. They're going to have a large selection of books, audio books, CDs and DVDs for sale, all sorted out in different genres. So you can, you know, make a beeline right to the romance section. <laughs> Watch a kawawa, if that's your thing. Uh, the funds raised will support the library's goals to improve community literacy. That'll be nice. And that's indoors, so that's nice. All right, yes. now <laughs> for what we've all been waiting for, Mardi Gras. A grand total of seven parades rolling across the News 5 neighborhood this weekend. So put on that Mardi Gras swag and grab some king cake. All right, so we've talked about Friday night, the Condies at 630. Saturday is the busiest day, though, of the holiday year of the uh, holiday weekend. The day starts with the mystic crew of Salty Paws riding through Dauphin Island at 10 a.m. Then at 2, there are two different parades to choose from. The Order of Rolling River will roll through Dauphin Island Parkway, while the Bayport Parading Society, Mystic DJ Riders, they will go through Mobile's Route A. And then, of course, the busy day ends with the Pharaohs and the Condi Explorers riding through Route A at 630. Then on Sunday, we're still going. The third annual Pensacola Beach Potty Gras will start at 11 a.m. And last but not least, the festivities will end with the Massacre Island Secret Society riding through Route A at 630. And by the way, you can find information for all these events on WKRG.com when you go to the Gulf Coast CW page. All right, guys, so any plans? <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be in the Condi Explorers. And Devin, I know you're always there Fat Tuesday. Yes. Uh, if you could pick your absolute most favorite Mardi Gras float, do you, do you have a favorite that you're always looking forward to seeing? Yeah, I always look forward to seeing Folly in the KORs, watching him uh, oh, yeah? beat those cow bladders. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I love it. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to all the Mardi Gras festivities, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Yeah, stay out of the rain. <laughs> Will do.